Hi, I'm Dr. Robert Bradley. I'm the director of the Natural Science Research Lab and curator of mammals. Today we're going to take you on a tour of the Natural Science Research Lab and show you some of the interesting creatures that we have and talk to you about the role of the NSRL in science and graduate education. Hope you enjoy the tour. The Natural Science Research Laboratory, or NSRL, is a division of the Museum of Texas Tech University that houses the natural history collections. We have four collections, mammals, birds, invertebrate zoology, and the genetic resources. Together, these collections contain over five million objects and are used by scientists and educators at Texas Tech University and throughout the world. Let's go inside and see what the NSRL has to offer. Our collections contain scientific voucher specimens and genetic samples. The specimens are used by scientists to study phylogenetic relationships, geographic variation, biodiversity, evolutionary adaptations, and many other things. The genetic samples are crucial for studies involving DNA mutations, genetic relatedness, exposure to toxins, and wildlife-borne diseases. In addition, these specimens serve to document biodiversity relative to time and geographic locality. In other words, we have a small part of Earth's biological history contained within these walls. These collections are used by researchers from all over the world and are an integral part of graduate and undergraduate research at Texas Tech University. Over 250 graduate students and hundreds of un undergraduates have used these resources as part of, part of their theses, dissertations, and other research projects. Also, we have two scientific publication series that allow researchers to publish their findings. The occasional paper series is intended for standard research size manuscripts, and the special publications is reserved for the large monograph length papers. Our only requirement is that the studies must involve natural history specimens or data such as those housed in the Natural Science Research Laboratory. This is the mammal collection. It houses about 120,000 specimens. Most are prepared as voucher specimens. These specimens are used in morphological studies, although more recently scientists have been using small samples of skin, toes, and bone to isolate DNA for their studies. Another part of the mammal collection contains fluid preserved specimens. Given the nature of these specimens, they can be used for studies pertaining to the soft anatomy, such as the digestive, muscle, and nervous systems. We have a small taxidermy collection that has been donated to us by hunters and naturalists. This collection is especially important for several of our biology classes. Our mammal collection is among the largest housed at a North American university. This is Dr. Nancy McIntyre, the curator of birds. Nancy, tell our visitors about the bird collection and some of the interesting specimens that you have. The bird collection at Texas Tech is the second largest collection of birds in the state of Texas. And it represents a very important time series of birds of our rich natural history in the state. That's our strength, is Texas birds. Our oldest specimens date from the 1860s up to the present day, including from some areas that are now part of Metroplex, Dallas, Houston, and other areas that have been really impacted by um, land conversion, urbanization, population growth. And so they represent um, a legacy, if you will, of the species that used to be formerly common that are now quite rare. Um, they represent a, an important research and teaching resource. And we also have representatives of species that are found outside of Texas as well, tropical things, for example, um, that are useful for teaching and research as well. But our big strength is Texas. This is James Kokendoffer, who is in charge of our invertebrate zoology collection. James, tell our guest about the invertebrate collection. Hi, I'm James Kokendoffer. I'm a research scientist at the museum and the caretaker of the invertebrate collection. The invertebrate zoology collection of the Museum of Texas Tech University is international in scope from aquatic and terrestrial habitats. The collection consists primarily of modern non-fossil arthropods. In 
insects, arachnids, and crustaceans are the majority of the specimens. The pinned insect collection contains about 1 million individuals with over 7,500 that are identified the species. There are many more specimens that are kept in alcohol for best preservation. We have examples of almost all living insect orders. We lack specimens of only two of the 30 orders known. The estimated minimal numbers are medical veterinary zoology section consists of about 75,000 specimens. At least 3 million specimens are retained as sealed bulk samples that are either dried or in ethyl alcohol. Alcohol. There are currently slightly more than 800 type specimens, mostly paratypes in the collection. Our live data is maintained directly within an internet data portal called the Symbiota Collections of Arthropods Network of Scan. These data and images are provided for free public access via the SCAN website. This is Dr. Caleb Phillips, the Curator of Genetic Resources. Caleb, tell the visitors about the importance and significance of our genetic resource collection. The genetic resources collection is an investment into the care of biological samples taken from organisms from all around the world. We currently care for about 350,000 individual vials of tissue from about 100,000 specimens. This material is available for study. Each year, to research at Texas Tech University and other institutions, we approve hundreds of individual tissue subsamples that allow for many biological discoveries, including how species are related to each other, how an organism's genes result in its appearance and function, as well as new understandings of symbiotic and parasitic relationships among macro and microorganisms. This collection is preserved at minus 80 degrees Celsius. That's about negative 180 Fahrenheit. Through a National Science Foundation and Texas Tech University funding project, we are currently beginning a renovation to an all-liquid nitrogen storage facility, which will then include preservation of the collection at about negative 320 degrees Fahrenheit. The maintenance of a collection of this size and diversity requires continual and diligent effort. Kathy McDonald is the collections manager of the Genetic Resources Collection. Another important and unique component of this collection is the radioactive collection. The radioactive collection houses tissues collected from organisms living in and around the radioactive environment created by the Chernobyl nuclear meltdown, the worst nuclear accident in man's history. This collection continually provides for new discoveries about the effects of radiation on genes and genomes, the ecological effects of radiation, and implications to human health. This is Heath Garner, the curator of collections. Heath, tell our visitor about the databases and how we loan specimens to scientists and students. Hi, my name is Heath Garner and I'm the Curator of Collections for the Natural Science Research Laboratory. My role here is to care for and curate the vertebrate specimens deposited into the NSRL's Museum of Texas Tech Collections, as well as to facilitate access to the specimens and their data for research. Let me briefly describe how we do this. Here you'll notice row upon row of binders. Each of these binders contains about 250 individual pages, with each page having the collection data of a single specimen. Data from each page is then formatted, proofed, and input into a database to allow us to finish processing and catalog the specimen. Once cataloged, we provide access to this data free of charge through our website. We also provide access to our vertebrate data through collaborative data portals such as vertnet.org, gbif.org and idigbio.org. Researchers can go to our website or any of these data portals to search for specimens or tissue samples from our collections that may enhance their research and then submit a loan request. In a typical year, the NSRL sends out over 100 tissue and specimen loans. Before vertebrate specimens can be incorporated into our collections, the specimen skeleton must first be put through our domestic beetle colony to remove the flesh. Once the flesh is removed, the skeleton is cleaned by hand, placed in an archival container, and matched with the voucher skin. Once identified, the specimen catalog number is applied to every part of the specimen, including the skeleton and skull, and then placed in the collections. The specimens are organized by country, state, and county for ease of use by researchers. This is Lisa Bradley, the production editor for publications. Lisa, tell our visitor about our publication series. Hi, I'm Lisa Bradley. I'm the production editor for publications here at the NSRL. The NSRL produces two publication series, both of which are focused on museum-based natural history studies. 
The first is the Occasional Paper Series. These are shorter papers, up to 32 pa pages in length, and uh, we generally produce 8 to 10 of those per year. The special publications are longer monographs resulting from major studies. We usually produce one or two of those a year, and they may be several hundred pages in length and may even be card bound. Any researcher who is doing natural history research based on museum specimens is eligible to submit their manuscripts to our series for consideration. The authors do not have to be affiliated with the museum or with Texas Tech University. All manuscripts that are submitted to us are sent out for peer review, and those that are accepted for publication are made available as printed hard copies, which are distributed to more than 60 libraries around the country. They are also published as electronic PDF files. These PDFs are available to anyone for free download from the publications page of the NSRL website. The NSRL has been producing occasional papers and special publications since 1972, and to date we've published nearly 400 papers in these series. The NSRL is proud of our ability to continue this tradition of publishing quality scientific papers and making these research results available to the academic and science communities and to the public. I hope you enjoyed the tour of the Natural Science Research Laboratory. Remember that the specimens housed in this building are extremely important to researchers and educators at Texas Tech University and throughout the world. Thanks for joining us today.